Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Turtle Run Farm. I'm joined by Rachel Massini from UNH Cooperative Extension. Rachel, my first question to you is, why am I holding these things? Well, Ray, we're <laughs> gonna talk about bluebird nesting boxes today. And uh, the rebar and the pole are gonna be our mounting uh, apparatus for the nesting boxes. And why do I want bluebirds? I mean, aside from the fact that it's just nice to have birds around the house there. They are excellent insect eaters. They're insectivores, so they're out there feeding on um, insects that might be in the garden and also um, helps with our ecology. Okay, so the first thing obviously you would do is you would put the rebar in and then this post would go over the top of it. Correct. And well, then eventually. We would mount a bird box, exactly. Box. So yeah. most of the boxes, you do not want to mount these on structures or on trees because of for predators um, will move in. So basically what you're gonna use this is to mount the box and you can create your own or you can buy them already made. Okay, now uh, I've heard with bluebirds that you have to be aware that some other birds will try to nest in their spot. So the hole is very important, The right? hole is important. You wanna make it about one and a half inches wide or um, research has shown that one in nine sixteenths is preferable. Okay, any particular, this is pine, but any particular wood that you should strive for? They recommend using either a cypress or a um, cedar because over time it has this beautiful patina and you don't need to treat it in any way or paint it. Um, it's just a nice looking wood. Okay, now we have a bluebird house that's already established down there, but there are actually two houses down there. Why is that? One is for the bluebird and the other one is for the tree sparrow. Um, they can coexist, but you want boxes for each of them. Okay, because otherwise the sparrows will come in and move the bluebirds exactly. out. Exactly, huh? yes, most definitely. So there's a little bit of competition there. Okay, anything else that's special about this box? I notice it's got a nail sticking out yep. of the side. You want to make sure you can actually maintain and check these boxes. So when you're putting them together or you're creating them, you want to make sure that you have an easy opening so you can monitor and check the um, what's going on inside of these boxes. Okay, but obviously don't check the boxes when they're nesting. Exactly, <laughs> exactly right. All right, so if you wanna get some bluebirds in your backyard, uh, follow these easy instructions. You can always go to the UNH Cooperative Extension website for some more information. That's it for today's Grow Green.